My power sharp system is uh, on a steel MS211. It's got a 14 inch bar. Power sharp really is a, a totally different type of chainsaw chain. So when you get your new power sharp, sharp chain, it comes in a in a box like this, and you have the chain, and you have the actual a new file or new stone. The stone sits in here, and whenever you change uh, the chain, you change the stone as well, and uh, very easily done. That's it, just lifts out. And you can see on that one there how the, uh, as it's been sharpened, how it's worn the stone away. So we're going to get rid of that and put a new one in. There's our new stone. Any drops like that. And that's it, job done. Take the bar off, usual procedure. First, always slacken off the nut that holds the bar on. Secondly, slacken off the chain tensioner. Now the bar nut can be removed. Doing this one handed, so I'm hoping things will hold together. Cap comes off. You can see it's full of sawdust, etc. That's normal. And then we just lift the bar off and out. Let's give our chain a little oil dip. And as usual, you can drip dry for. Well, as long as you like, really. You can do it sort of 10 minutes later or an hour later, whenever you like. But just make sure the train is uh, lubricated as soon as it goes on the bar, then. Okay, the bar has been cleaned out. It's back on the saw. It's really a two handed job doing this, but we'll see how we go. usual test for chain tension as a rule of thumb, you should be able to pull the chain out to see the bottom drive link, but it'll snap back into place. Now because it's a new chain, new chains, you put on the saw, you, you'll run it for a couple of minutes and it goes back to that. I've used it quite a bit and I can sort of see now the different strengths and weaknesses of it. So first of all we'll have a look at the actual chain itself in, in close up and see what is actually different about the Oregon PowerSharp system. Looking at the chain tooth on PowerSharp you can see it's a very different type of tooth. For instance this angle here is more like 45 degrees and power sharp is actually what's called a top sharpening chain and what that means is as power sharp is sharpened it sharpens this top plate section here so rather than a round file and how we've looked at sharpening other chains which is in the gullet here power sharp doesn't work that way it just sharpens this top plate but the clever bit is as well is as it's sharpening the top plate it also takes down these depth gauges over here for you so it does both at the same time and you'll see that one of the teeth has actually been replaced by this here which is a diamond coated dressing stone 
And what that does is, as the chain is going round getting sharpened, this dresses the grinding stone flat each time, so it gives you a more consistent uh, sharpening. <laughs> the ground hitting some small stones and it's now dulled the chain and on that the second cut there I couldn't really get very far the, uh, the chain was too dull to do it so let's have a look in close-up what that actually did to the chain this is the result of hitting the ground which I did with the chainsaw just then and you can see in line with the red mark here that I've drawn you can see all the way around here that there's, there's a lot of damage to the top plate of the chain. Now quite simply we take the attachment for the power shark we clip him in that, that is spring loaded. So when I'm pushing the saw down, what that is doing is it's pushing that sharpening stone onto the chain. So now all we do so you can just see the grooves that have been worn into the sharpening stone. Three to five seconds. And now, let's try that chain again. I think you'll agree that's quite impressive. Uh, what can we say in summary about PowerSharp? On the advantages side, it is incredibly fast, easy to sharpen, and you, usually you get between 15 and 20 sharpens out of each chain. On the disadvantages side, um, it doesn't really ever cut as fast as normal chainsaw chain, it's just not as efficient um, a cutting chain as normal chain. Um, secondly, it's more expensive than normal chain. And thirdly, sometimes if you hit something hard, it will take up to three, four, maybe five sharpens to get the chain cutting correctly again. But all those disadvantages are outweighed by that speed of sharpening.